This is the Mershman Seeds Ag Weather Outlook, December 23rd, 2017. Well, you probably have heard this by now. I've been talking about it for a while, and I'm sure everybody's talking about the big cold air intrusion that's going to be working in, or has worked in. Right now, you can see the polar vortex here is sagging to the south. It's pulling that down, and one of the things, you know, a lot of times I'll talk about this um, lobe of the polar vortex, and that's when you get a little sort of a dip in there, and um, you might get a little rotation down like this, a lobe. Right now, the whole polar vortex is sinking to the south, so that's bringing some really cold air down. And matter of fact, if we look at the cold air source region, here's your cold air, and this is a cold area, as you know. This time of year is the coldest time of the year, and this is unusually cold. That's the purple compared to what it normally would be. So the potential's there. Looks like a sure thing as it sinks to the south. Now, we had a lot of rain over the south-central U.S. You know, uh, Arkansas has been really in a drought, so that was a needed rain. There is some flooding, but um, overall, I think that's in some areas there, that's a needed rain despite some of the flooding. Over the Corn Belt, some light precipitation. It seems like Ohio is the state of the Corn Belt that always has been getting the most precipitation really for the last six months. And again, looks like uh, Kentucky and uh, southern Indiana, southern Illinois, parts of Missouri, and parts of Ohio received some rainfall. There was a band of some very light snow recently overnight in this region. We beginning to see these snow tracks here. Look at that. Sort of interesting. That's a sign of winter when we start to see these snow tracks. We've had several of them over the last week. Now, what do you notice about this? Well, they're not real wide. They're not real wide tracks, and these are indicating relatively fast-moving, weak storm systems. For a while, it looked like next week or this upcoming week we'd have a major system, but right now that sort of fizzled out um, in the cold air. But right now, we're beginning to get snow. The atmosphere has turned over enough now that it's going to be predominantly snow for, for quite some time, but nothing real major so far. So we do have some light snow on the ground. We have some more moderate snow on the ground over the far upper Midwest and Great Lakes states, but no snow over the eastern Corn Belt. Not a whole lot of snow even over the central part. Now, you're not going to see this for some time. This was over the last week, milder than normal temperatures. You're not going to see that for some time, let me tell you. So this week, here's that polar vortex. Look how far it it's has sunk south. It's displacing that cold air, spilling to the south. And what we're going to have here is we're going to have one, two, or maybe three reinforcing pulses of cold air. And each one of these will be accompanied by some light snow as we go right through the next week or so. Now this week, very light precipitation. This is going to be another one of those snow tracks. I can't say it's going to be precisely in this area. Um, looks like maybe another one right in here, and then we're going to continue to have lake effect snow. But it looks all on the light side, a couple inches um, of snow with each one of these pushes of colder air. So here's one push, here's that second push. Now over the next seven days, you can see here the potential. Some spots you could get four inches or more. Right now, Nebraska, parts of um, the northern Indiana, parts of Ohio along the Great Lakes area, but most areas just a couple inches. Now, if we get into December 28th through January 2nd, we still have this overall cyclonic flow here. It's quite strong. So we still have well below normal temperatures, and this is we're looking at 10 to 20 degrees below normal over the entire Corn Belt. January 2nd, through 7th. Well, it doesn't look like it's quite as intense, and that could be a couple things here. It could simply be that climatology, the models going back to climatology. These models aren't going to keep an extreme in there. The further out you go, it's going to merge with climatology. Or it could be that it is somewhat moderating, but still temperatures below normal. Maybe not quite as extreme. So this is saying for temperatures, settling in now, and we are going out very likely 15 days now of below normal temperatures. There'll be some fluctuation. Um, it'll be alternating. So in other words, before you get a reinforcing push of cold air, it might go up a bit, then it's going to drop out again. We're talking about really cold air, upper Midwest, probably below zero or definitely below zero. Single digits in a pretty wide area, teens elsewhere. So we're looking at really cold air 
prolonged and um, I'll be looking at it this week and give you some information on how long that'll last. But like I said, I don't see any real heavy snow at this time, and you wouldn't really expect that. You'd expect clipper-type systems in the cold air. So um, I see a lot below normal t precipitation departures, some yellow, cold, stable air, light snow, dry snow. That sort of looks like the situation to me. But we got to keep an eye on this. Um, I do note that the southeast U.S., though, which you would think in La Nina would be dry. It's sure not looking like that. Southeast U.S. looks pretty wet on the boundary of that warmer air and colder air. So not sure many time ways I can say it, but pro prolonged, unusually cold period ahead, continuing into January. And I want to wish everybody, you and yours and your families, all the best of the holidays. It's usually a quiet, peaceful time, hopefully, for you and your family. I will be watching things over the holidays. Might not issue quite as much as usual, but I will be keeping an eye on things. Take care.